Hey everybody, it's Juanita McDowell from InMotion and today I want to give you three little quick Excel tips. The first one is autofill. Now a lot of people are familiar with autofill. In fact, let's come over here and just type in the number 10. And we know if we hold the handle, we're going to get lots of 10s if that's what we want. Now let's say that's not exactly what we want. In fact, what if we said we want to count by 10s? Then all we need to do is hold the first two numbers as an example and then use the auto fill and we're going to have increments of 10 all the way down the page 10 20 30 40. now that's not the big deal because a lot of people know about that trick one that i want to show you that most people don't know about is using the well i call it the magic button in excel so as an example let's say in our little fictitious situation here we have a patsy brown who's our office administrator and we want to start logging how many hours she's worked and let's say we've got Monday and really and truly when I drag down Monday as you probably know I get all the days of the week so that's great but with Patsy Brown she only works weekdays she doesn't work Saturday and Sunday so how do I how am I able to drag all the way down the page and exclude the weekends well I'm glad you asked when you use the autofill function there's a magic button here you may have never seen before and there it is and I actually can click in that and say hey just fill in weekdays and when I do that like magic my Saturdays and Sundays are gone okay and our next tip well let's talk about quarterly sales now with this one I want you to see what chart tabs I already have available here what tabs I already have quarterly sales commission report future projections we're actually going to focus on our quarterly sales in this fictitious scenario I'm gonna be a broker let's call me Kelly and I want to show exactly I want to see exactly how my sales associates are doing so while I have the information entered in it's so much easier to see it graphically and that's what Excel is good for so I've got a couple of choices brand new in 2010 I can actually look at the data right above the cells right above the columns rather and so what as an example of that you go to insert and you want to use spark lines that's brand new in 2010 so now I can look at this data without having to figure out whether it's going up or down I can show it graphically with the spark lines and all I need to do is highlight the information that I want to look at and hit in this case I'll look at columns I'll get this little box that comes up and says well choose where you want the spark lines to be placed and I want them right above my associates name so all I need to do is select those cells and it automatically fills in the blank for me when I say okay like magic I can now look at my first quarter cells per associate and I can see where Bob and Sue and Keith had a pretty slow January and February was a little bit better of course and the only concern I may have is Keith now what's really cool about spark lines is you can determine the style it may be easier to look at line instead of column and in this case I can automatically see Keith is on the decline gotta talk to that Keith now that's spark lines I want to show you I want to give you two quick shortcuts that I think you're gonna like the first one is let's say I want to see a chart over here on the right larger chart and let's say I just want to see it on Bob then all I need to do is highlight Bob in fact I'm gonna highlight all of his information and to see a chart over here your shortcut key are you ready drum roll it's alt F1 and now I have Bob's information in chart form and let's say I'm concerned about Keith so let's look at Keith over here and I'll do an alt F1 and there you can see I can see Keith's information over here and I can see where we need to figure out what's going on for the rest of the year now that's not the coolest the coolest of all is the trick I'm about to tell you in fact this is the best Excel shortcut key of all now if you know this trick already then I want you to post it up on our fan page and in which case I have a $50 gift card for the first person who finds out how I do this next trick and if you don't know make sure you stick around because in two days I'm gonna give away my secret and it's this easy when I want information on my performance 
In fact, I'm going to highlight this whole chart now because I want to see what's going on in January, February, March with my sales team. There is one key, one key that I'm going to hit on my keyboard that's going to give me a graphical view. I need someone to tell me, like magic, how did I do that? And it automatically created a chart of my data. Very, very cool. And as you can see, I can change my chart type. I can actually go, let's see, let's go to a 3D view. There we go. And I'll say OK. And now I have a 3D view of my data that I can look at. And in fact, I can even change and format my walls, make it a little bit more interesting. As you can see, I can do that with pictures, different colors. I can choose a picture or texture feel. Let's see if I can find some fish. There we go, swimming in the background of my wall. Or of course, let's see, in my office we do a lot of condos. So let's search my files for a condo to put in the background of our data to really show how well we're doing out there. And let's go with this picture. And how cool is that? Now I have my data showing up in the background uh, with our condos that we like to sell. Just having a little fun there. You can always switch that back to something plain or you can always just do a color. Oh, and also very cool is you can do a 3D rotation with this particular chart. You can actually rotate this chart. Look how when I rotate it, I'm looking from a different angle. So play around with that. It's very cool. But the question is, what one key did I hit on my keyboard that automatically takes my data and instantly transforms it to a chart? If you know, post it up on my fan page. The first person who guesses gets my $50 dad's card. Let's have some fun. And thanks for watching.